This is a L'Hopital's rule question. And remember, L'Hopital's rule, we need to get it to a fractional form. And to do that, let's first start by rewriting it. I notice there's an x and an x, so I'm going to go ahead and factor that out. So what's left is 5e to the 1 over x minus 5. I could still factor a 5 out. Let's get crazy and factor that out. Um, and 5 does not depend on x, so I can factor that all the way outside the limit. So we have limit x times e to the 1 over x minus 1. Now if we take the limit here, we have 5 times infinity times e to the 1 over infinity minus 1. And this e to the 1 over infinity is e to the 0, which is 1. So it's 5 times infinity times 1 minus 1, which is infinity times 0. Whenever you get this, you need to turn it into a fraction. And there's basically two terms in here. And I'm going to put the easier term. I'm going to force it into the denominator. So we have e to the 1 over x minus 1 divided by the reciprocal of x is 1 over x. Now we should be in a good form for L'Hopital's rule. We're going to plug in infinity. e to the 1 over infinity minus 1 over 1 over infinity. And of course 1 over infinity is 0. So we have 5 times e to the 0 minus 1 over this 1 over infinity turns into a 0. So 5 times 1 minus 1 over 0, which is 0 over 0. And now we can use L'Hopital's rule. Remember 1 over x is x to the negative first. And we take a derivative of this. We have negative x to the negative 2, which is negative 1 over x squared. All right, so L'Hopital's rule, the 5 stays where it is. We're only taking a derivative of that and that. And remember, this is not the quotient rule. This is L'Hopital's rule. So derivative of e to anything is e to the thing times the chain rule. The derivative of 1 over x we just saw was negative 1 over x squared. Derivative of 1 is 0 divided by same 1 over x, negative 1 over x x squared. Now from here, you can just cancel out that minus zero it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and just erase it. Now we have this negative one over x squared as a factor canceling the other factor. And we have five lim e to the one over x, x approaches infinity. Now we can plug in infinity e to the 1 over infinity, which is 5 times e to the 0. e to the 0 is 1, so we just get 5. And you can see that right up at the top there.